Hi, welcome back to Dynamo TV. My name is Nick and I'm the Dynamo Group Product Manager. In this short video, we're going to explain the Dynamo external hard disk enclosures. These are very successful devices. They're basically enclosures that will take the user's own external or own hard disk, HDU, fixed disk, or whatever you like to call them. But before we get into detail on the particular types that Dynamo produces, I want to give a quick run through on the type of hard drives that these units take. Okay, basically, hard drives come in two flavours or sizes. The first one is this one, which is a three and a half inch drive. The second is a smaller, the two and a half inch drive. Now, basically, they, they both hold data, iTunes, music, videos, uh, corporate data, or whatever, but they're donated by the two different sizes. Now, that's very important because you need to select the right size for the right hard drive that's actually uh, going to take the, the hard disk it, it itself. The first drive, if we look at this, uh, the three and a half inch again, these drives are normally found in desktop servers, desktop computers, media centers, and so forth, and they can normally take quite a bit of storage, uh, probably up to one, two terabytes. The second sort of drive is a lot smaller. Now, this still holds data, but it's designed for portable com computers. For example, desk, uh, netbooks, laptops, Mac, Windows, and so forth. Even the latest uh, servers still have small disk drives because they produce less power and they're easier and they're cheaper to manufacture. So before you decide to buy the Dynamo external hard disk enclosure, you need to select the right caddy, as they're also known, for the right hard disk. But before we move on to the actual enclosures or caddies themselves, a quick word about interfaces. Now, on the back of hard drives, they come with a number of interfaces. In fact, Dynamo produces external disk enclosures that um, can encompass two sorts of hard drive interfaces. The first one, and probably the more up-to-date version, is the SATA, S-A-T-A interface, which is basically a block interface. It's a male to female edge connector, and it's normally is in two blocks, one for the data and one for the power. And these are normally the faster drives that can um, transmit data up to five gigabits per second or more, so they're, they're pretty quick, and they've been around for a couple of years now. The second sort of interface is what's called IDE. Now, IDE is an older interface, and it has two rows of pins, probably around 50 or so pins on it, so there's quite a long row of pins. Uh, this is normally used on older hard, uh, hard disks or in laptops and desktops, but the Dynamo design on our enclosures or caddies will take either or, so it will either take SATA or IDE, or a combination of both in our combi external hard disk enclosure. So, that's all you need to know. One more thing, why do people use external hard disk enclosures? Well, they may have sensitive data that they don't want to throw away, they want to maybe upgrade their, load, uh, their notebook, their desktop, they've got an external, they've got a a spare drive now, what do they do with it? They don't want to throw it away, they can buy one of the Dynamo enclosures, which are very, very cheap and economical, put the drive in there, and they've got external storage. Fully compatible, for example, uh, Time Machine under Mac or Windows, System Restore, Linux or Unix or whatever. Or, as you know, you can buy hard drives very, very cheaply now, and by putting a hard drive in an enclosure, they're certainly going to be a lot cheaper than vendors uh, specific enclosures that already have the drive in there. Very easy to use, plug and play, no drivers are needed. So what we'll do now, we'll have a look at each, each particular caddy in question. Okay, we're going to take a closer look at the Dynamo 2.5 inch SATA and IDE combo enclosure. Uh, the part number of this particular product is USB HD 2.5 SI. SI denotes it's a SATA and IDE interface enclosure, so no matter what drive you've got, uh, as long as it's two and a half inch, it will fit quite happily in the drive. Okay, um, if we have a look at the product itself, it's a nice aluminium enclosure. Okay, so it's fully silent in operation. The back end comes away, as you can see here, comes with a complementary screwdriver and screws, so you don't need extra tooling um, to take the actual device apart, and you simply slide out the internal circuit board, like so, and it has a SATA interface at one end and an IDE interface at the other. So you have your drive, as long as it's two and a half inch, whether it's SATA or IDE, this one is actually an IDE drive, it will simply connect like so into the, onto the actual circuit board and you screw that down with the supplied screws. Once that's done, you simply 
slide it back in, very easy to use, slide it back in and screw back by two screws on the actual back of the external hard disk enclosure and then you have a fully supported hard drive. The way to connect the actual uh, enclosure or caddy to your computer is via the supplied USB 2 cable and that will work up to 480 megabits per second and that simply connects into your uh, laptop, into your desktop. The good thing about the 2.5 inch enclosures from Dynamode, unlike some other vendors, it is fully self-powered by the USB cable so you don't need to take any other messy um, power adapters with you or so forth. So it's truly portable and it is pocket size as well. Um, it also comes with a uh, velvety sort of carry pouch. All the screws and uh, tooling is necessary. It comes in the box so you can actually easily uh, connect your, your own external drive and it will take around one terabyte um, in external two and a half inch storage either on SATA or an IDE. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.